What's up? This is Squire2448 with a video and today we'll be planting 12 tomato plants and we will first have to prep the soil by rotating all of it, bringing all of the cold soil to the top for the sun to heat up and it is mid-May so some of it is still cold. So we'll rotate it, we'll use a rake, make it nice and flat and then we'll plant each one roughly 30 inches apart and then we'll be putting a few sticks on each one to kind of help it grow. And that's one of the cheapest ways to kind of help support the tomatoes as they grow all season long. So I will grab the shovel and we'll start rotating the soil. Awesome, so I did a little patch here and I will be doing this to the entire garden, but now we'll kind of start planting these tomato plants. I will be using this small shovel right here to kind of help us out with doing this, to kind of help out. So we'll bring one of these tomato plants over and we'll kind of start to put them in. Now I will be doing one right over here, kind of just a foot away and a foot and a half from the fence to kind of help out. So we'll kind of dig the hole and you do want to kind of dig it pretty wide so I think we'll actually move it over right here is pretty good and you guys can see this is some really good soil compost and garden loom makes for good planting so we'll kind of break all this up awesome so we did that now I think we'll kind of do this and I usually push on the bottom, tilt it over, and pull one out. And this, as you guys can see, is a little root down. So we should actually planted these a few days ago. But we'll put them in like this and bring all the soil. And I think it's also good to kind of pull the roots out, kind of help them out. Just like this. Awesome, so that's good. We'll put this down and we'll put all these around it. Now some of these worms aren't really that good so you do remove them and we'll just make in a little cup to kind of help the water not rush away but there we go guys we planted this tomato plant and it looks really good so now we'll kind of go and move over so i think we'll move over and do one right about here so 
So we'll take another one, we'll tilt this back, pull it out slowly and move the roots. Awesome, so we did that and we'll be putting it right over here actually. So kind of just moving these around as we kind of see where they need to go. So we'll put this right here and fill this in. And I will be also watering these once I am uh, doing all of them. So there we go guys, we planted two. We'll plant one more. So again, we'll kind of do this to the roots and pull them apart and we'll move over. And just going by eye to make sure that we're doing equal distance, we'll go right here. And this, as I do feel, the soil is very warm, which is good. You do not want to be planting this in cold soil. Tomato plants really do like warm soil, so that's good that the soil is pretty warm. I planted all 12 tomato plants that we were supposed to plant, and I put areas around it to prevent the water from running away and actually get to the roots. And the last step is to water them. And as you guys can see, they're all equally spread apart and they look really nice. So I have a water pitcher right over here. So we'll walk over here and start to water. And you do want to soak them, but you don't want to over flood them. So we'll just kind of water them all. And as you guys can see, by doing that circle of dirt around it, it prevents them from running away and uh, that's very helpful because then you do not waste any water. Alright, I watered all 12 tomato plants, job complete. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.